Hello everybody, it's Marty, the off-grade gecko with bees. Um, getting ready to do a little inspection here. So I didn't do a video of it, but I added another box to the bottom of their hive. Put this little strappy thing on here because we had some rough weather coming through. Um, and they weren't totally filled up on comb on the top, so I don't know if they were ready for that box, but they seem to have taken to it quite well. And it's not, it doesn't seem to be bugging them. So they got more room to grow and stuff like that. That increases the complexity of going in the hive a little bit. Now you've got to worry about removing boxes and stuff. Um, just makes things a little bit more complicated. But that's a complication you're going to encounter if you're a beekeeper, especially if you ever want honey because you're going to have extra boxes laying around. So we can go ahead and smoke these guys in the front. Wind's blowing this way. Now the wind's blowing that way. There we go. Go ahead and take the strap off. Hopefully the click doesn't bother them too much because these things tend to make a little bit of a snap. Pull them loose. normal stuff, pull the stuff off the top, and it's super down with water from all the rain. And, uh, go ahead and get these guys open and see what they're doing. So today I haven't really checked on the guys in about three weeks. Um, the last thing I did was put this box on and that's been a while, like two and a half, three weeks ago. So curious to see how they're doing, how they're building out. Um, how much honey they're putting up in the top box, how much brood they're moving into the bottom box, if any. Um, and this is going to be my first working with them with an additional box. So it might get a little tricky. We'll see. Not too many in here. That's good. What are you guys doing? What are you doing on the box? Nothing. A little sugar. This thing's glued down pretty good. It's a good sign. Ooh, they got all kinds of comb. All kinds of kinds. They're building honeycomb on the lid. Imagine that. Little monsters. Water them down from the top. This top box here is almost entirely filled with honeycomb. So in three weeks, and they're building this really nice white comb now that looks like normal honeycomb. And I see honey in there, so all seem to be doing good. I see a lot of capped honey in there. So they're putting up honey like little crazy worms. I may need to add a, uh, a super onto here. I didn't bring one out, but I can go grab one real quick if I need it. Um, scrape some bird comb and we'll move on. I'm not going to smoke the ones that are on the lid because if I smoke them, then they're, you know, that's just going to annoy them. They don't have any honey to eat over here. Takes care of that part. Is the camera still recording? Probably not. It's still recording. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and smoke these guys down again. progress they've made going down into the bottom. Just need to go ahead and move it. Make sure it's nice and loose. That way we're not picking up frames with it, I hope. And we'll grab this this way. A twist. Oh god, that's heavy. And a lift. And put them down right here. Off. Oh, I guess that sugar didn't make it down there, did it? Uh, 
All right. Oh, and I probably got a stinger in me because I'm feeling a sting over here. Yeah. My reaction there was not what you want to do. I just had a couple of them bum rush me all at once and got a little excited. Make sure I keep them all busy. All right. It really doesn't hurt when you sting. I don't know. I'm just a little antsy today, I guess. But I'm going to check in here and see how see if Queen Bug's in here doing her thing. Nothing on that one. A little group of them down here in the corner. And they've already propolized all these frames down here, which is new. Bugger bite. They're drawing out comb even way out here toward the edge. Starting from the top and just working their way down. You know what bees do, I guess. Love and comb. I don't see anything that's really built up enough for eggs. I'll try the next frame and see what it looks like. There's some jelly down in this comb. And I see some eggs. And they're starting to lay down, so they've been laying eggs in here for a couple a couple days ago. And I don't see Miss Pris wandering around. And they're just starting to build on the back side of this. So they've got about a frame worth of comb. It's just kind of scattered about down here. And they seem to be making sure that stinger's not in there because I feel something. Nope, there's a bump. All right. So they seem to be doing what they're supposed to do. I'm going to restart the camera. It may overheat, but at least I'll know the timer won't stop it. Um, so they're putting brood down in the bottom box. It looks like they're moving the brood nest down slowly. That's cool. That probably explains all the honey in the top. So start sliding these guys back over, close them up, lay the grass, and they're not building any cross comb here, or any burr comb coming up, so they're doing pretty good on that front. Calm them back down again, give them a little more sugar treat. Why are you messing with our house? All right, that's up. Running out of sugar water, so I'm gonna try and keep them occupied. And let's check out this honey supply up here. Very careful. Ooh. And this frame is heavy. Alright, you see all that? That is what I was not seeing before at all. Beautiful, beautiful honeycomb. They've got some dried honey, they got some capped honey. And it's all beautiful and white. Put them over here in the grass. Look out on that bottom corner. You're all going to get rolled. They're a little preoccupied. Look at all that freaking... Um, I don't think that's honey down there on the bottom. I think that's cat brood. It's also very beautiful looking. There's some little jelly in the cells. So they're getting ready to refill those. So you got a little brood, a little honey. If it was early spring, this would be a good split frame. Ooh, sorry. That's mostly honey. There's some larvae in there. They look a little older. There's some drone comb. So they're in the reproduction phase and got some fat larvae in there too that are ready to be capped. The hell y'all waiting on cap that brood? Sorry, shook them a little bit. You can move your little butt. No, I'm gonna move my little butt. I don't see a whole lot of brood up here in the top, but it's gonna be on the bottom of the frames. They've got all this comb on top. It's all filled up, so they're done with the top box. All right, there's one of the old combs. You can see it's really dark. I'm gonna get rid of these as soon as I can. They look to be packing away a lot of pollen, lots of little brood. And baby larvae. Yeah, so it looks like all the new eggs are going down in the bottom with the new comb. Camera overheated, of course, it's bound to do it again. I wanted to say though, once they start eating all the sugar water and 
like diving in there for honey after you smoke them they get very very docile so those couple that came out and got me probably some guard bees when i pulled the box off but they seem fine now there's one crawling around on my no it's a fly move your bite and there's actually some larvae on the bottom of this frame too so she's going around finding any empty hole she can and sticking larvae in it all right now for the hard part putting this last frame back in and they are all over the handle. Why are you on the handle? And I think we got Miss Queenie is down there on the bottom somewhere. See how they're all hovering up down there? So we should drop her back in. So we don't roll her. And I didn't see her go in. Well, I don't know if we got her off or not. Well, they just got excited about something, so. Apparently she is on there. I'm just gonna hold them there for a minute. They're getting really loud. So I think she was on the frame And she needs to work her way back down below. I don't want to accidentally drop her Cooperate with me just a little longer And I put them through hell today. So I'm gonna go leave them with a little sugar treat There's another cluster of them right there I don't know what they're doing either. They're all balled up But looks like I got a little wax moth over here in the corner or something in the corner of my thing It looks like there's ants trapped in there. I don't know what kind of Bug this is maybe a spider. I don't know, but it's really sticky silk and I don't think I need the rocks anymore if I'm using this thing so We're still recording so I think the moral of the story today is don't get super excited if they come out stinging right away. Um, just smoke the little stingy wounds, give them a little sugar water, maybe a little smoke, get them docile back down again, and then go back to work. Because you can't leave the box open. That would be bad. You can't just walk away once it's open. you got to close it back up. Um, and the more bees you get, the more bees you squish, apparently, because I cannot keep these guys out from in between pieces of wood when I'm assembling to get together. I'm trying to do the tricks with sliding and moving stuff, but nothing seems to be working, so I'll work on that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the bees, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. There's some of them over there in that wax cup. I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now. They might just be moving the stuff into here. Did you get off of me? Off. Go away. One of the guard bees is getting a little snippy with me.